Hello Internet, Adopted Mike here, and this is the Asus M5 A99FX motherboard. This is an AMD Socket AM3, and it is the 990FX chipset. And this is the Pro R2 version, Windows 8.1 ready. You've got their Digi Power Control, a couple of things down here at the bottom. Super Speed USB, SLI ready, Crossfire ready. Windows 8 ready as well as the Windows 8 one, duh. The FX Unlock processor supported. Take a look at the bottom of the board here, along the sides, got the top, the other side, and a look at the back. Here's some of the specifications there. Okay, let's take a look at the inside. First of all, on the top, we have the motherboard. So we'll just take that out and set it to the side. Down here, we have a rear I.O. shield of the nice little flashy color variety. We've got two uh, packs of two each. So there's four SATA 6 gigabit a second cables. They're kind of neat looking, black with the uh, white on the ends there. They are uh, locking connectors, which are nice. And we have two right angles and two straight um, cables. Oh yeah, these are, these are pretty cool for connecting front panel connections here. You can make all your connections here and then, um, you know, easily with uh, the onboard stuff from your case and then plug this right into the motherboard so no more uh, trying to fiddle around with those little tiny connectors we have a cross fire or excuse me an SLI cable right here we've got the user guide and there is a disk inside but just double check the uh, drivers might be newer on the internet or on ASUS's website and we have a little case badge up there as well the guide is all in English, very comprehensive it seems. We have exclusive boot features, a uh, little manual from ASUS there. And we have just a R2 series SATA mode notice. Oh, I see, yeah, just talking about uh, the SATA mode that's available, the AHCI driver. Now, Let's take a look at the motherboard itself. So here we have the motherboard out of the bag. We can see we've got a uh, blue and black design here that may or may not suit you. But moving right along, we'll start at the bottom. We've got the front panel and SPDIF, uh, front panel audio, excuse me, and SPDIF up top there. We've got the BIOS flashback button. We've got TPM, then we have 246 USB 2.0 for the front panel. Got a COM port there. We've also got the direct key to go directly into BIOS. We've got our front panel connectors there. This little light here is a standby power light. Kind of spin it along. Then we have the uh, SATA 6 gigabit a second connectors here. There are five on the AMD chipset, chipset and then two on an ASMedia chipset. We've got a 4-pin chassis fan there. We've got USB 3.0 header here. A 24-pin power. We have four DIMM slots for 32 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Up to 32, I guess I should say. Spinning around, we've got some CPU fan headers. We've got the CPU fan and then an optional CPU fan. Both are 4-pin. We've got the Socket AM3 Plus supporting up to 140 watt processors. You can see we've got a fairly aggressive heat sink and heat pipe along the north bridge and the power delivery for the CPU. Speaking of power delivery, we've got a 8 pin CPU power right there. And kind of flip it around this way. We've got two more fan headers there that are also 4 pin look at the board again this way and we'll move into the PCI Express or 
uh, actually just the expansion slots in general. PCI Express by 16 are these two blue. So we've got by 16 and by 16 there. And these two are by 4s. So we've got 16, 4, 16, 4. So if you were going to use the SLI or Crossfire capabilities, definitely go with these two here. And that will also leave another slot of space in between the two cards. So that'll be nice. Then we have a PCI Express by 1 there and a legacy PCI slot right there. And that will round out the expansion. Let's flip it over to the I.O. We've got a PS2 port, keyboard and mouse. We've got optical audio out. We've got two USB 3.0. Then we have two, four, six, eight USB 2.0. And this one uh, down here supports the BIOS flashback. We've got eSATA right there. Then we also have a gigabit ethernet up top and then the multi-channel HD audio out. Now to wrap it all up, we have again the M5 A99FX Pro R2.0 from ASUS socket AM3 plus AMD motherboard. If you liked the video, give me the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me the thumbs down. And in the comment section below, leave your thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching.